It's episode 36, featuring a titillating look behind the curtain of Poor Life Choices Studio. And now he's the oldest man of his age. It's Mr. Brian Sturgis. You're listening to Unnecessary Talk with Brian Sturgis, Josh Willis, and Tim Hall. I forgot about the green screen. I'm sitting here eating chips, eating a sandwich. What is it, lunchtime? I forgot about the green screen. <laughs> Don't look at my stuff. <laughs> I got to get me some of that stuff. I want that stuff. Yeah, oh, oh, I saw that. Yeah. I like that. I like that lens flare on his lights there. It is nice. This is another episode of uh, and this is Harry Talk with Brian Sturgis. I forgot my green screen. I forgot the microphone. You know what you're watching. You're not subscribing. You're not liking. You're not sharing. You're not following. I don't care. You don't care. <laughs> YouTube doesn't care. Well, you have an intimate look at Poor Life Choices Studio. I don't know what 12. How well organized you are. <laughs> Oh, it really winded me. Remember that episode when I was like, I'm going to lose a bunch of weight? Oh, well, yeah. Sandwich and tortilla chips for breakfast. So I don't yeah. know how that's going to go. Abs. We talked about abs, right? Abs. Luckily, I didn't record that episode, right? Am I right, guys? <laughs> thankful for oh, that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I feel a little unprepared. Let me. Oh, by the way, I once had an interesting interaction with an intern who um, made a poor life choice by interning at poor life choices is that <laughs> my brother sent me this pillow because he's a bigger gentleman <laughs> he's a gentleman of means and so this arrives and i put it on the chair and of course i think this is where your where a man's pee pee hole would go yeah wouldn't that be where it is well that's is that where I your thought. perineum but then goes. the intern saw it and looked at me like I was like such an old man. You ever want like it was that first time when I was like, oh, I'm like an old man to a to like a 20 year old woman. Like because I, I have a, a pillow, which I did not buy for myself, which is for old men to sit in an office chair. But it was backwards. So she's looking at this and then she's looking at the the D hole. Like I must have some sort of problem in which I need this <laughs> in my life. Yeah. I don't need it, but what do you do with it? It arrives in the mail. I you say, sit thank on you. It. Yeah. I sit on it, but this is for your spine. And oh. this is like a oh. drum seat. The coccyx. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where you actually put the fellas and this is where it is. But I, so I had like her <laughs> thought I'd been using it backwards. Cause I thought it was for genital relief. But it's not. <laughs> I don't know if I want to set the boys up on that uh, hill there. I know it's kind of a. It seems like <clears throat> that would be wrong. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, you're really welcome. It is. <laughs> but this is this is this thing is. I'm actually working on this and just moved the keyboard for this to put the ring light up. Oh. How's your ring light, Tim Hall? Looking. Does it look good? <laughs> you're, yeah. No. no. Don't you dare lie to me. I have. Do you really have it up? <laughs> no, no. This is, this is, this is my lamp, and I just lean it. <laughs> yeah. So basically, <laughs> lean it forward. Right? Some kid in China, right, Laved. spends three days making this this lamp for you for forty cents. Right. It gets shipped here. Right. In a system in which taxation is ruining everything. Right. Then, then I and Josh, who has not paid me for it, purchased a wonderful thank you gift for a such an edit. And then you don't use the gift. Now, where where Josh and I are from, this would be. Did I did I get it? Did I get a bill or an invoice it's, for this? It's, uh, you haven't checked your mail in a while. Kind of, so, oh, okay. yeah, you, still, you still use your hotmail, right? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm you not cheating hotmail. on my wife at hotmail.com. Is that what it, what it was? <laughs> oh. So okay, 
I like it. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we feel a little slighted that you're not using this. Look at this. I got the, I got more. I got lights all over the place. Look at that. Yeah. You can show West Side Story. <laughs> you're a jet. You're a jet all the way. But I, I'm actually in, in process. I, I will say really quickly that I am um, in the very final stages of the next project. So I haven't talked about this yet. So oh. I'll, I'll make it quick because unlike most of you, I don't talk about projects until they've actually, it's not just like a, a photo on Instagram, <laughs> you know, like, Hey, I have a Dell and a Starbucks card. I'm a writer, but the, so uh, I have finished my uh, television pilot. Nice. So oh. it's a, uh, it's a period piece, which is not what you would imagine. It would be normally <laughs> from this channel. Uh it takes place at New York, 1969. It's, uh, you know, kind of a Donnie Brasco, soprano, easy writing, <laughs> you know, sort of thing. <laughs> Various thick calved men and very thin socks, you oh, know, yeah. loafers and whatnot. Uh, and I started it. It was actually my 2020 project. Um, and I can I consider getting it done, but it, it was 93 pages. So Holy moly. You know, and obviously you want to be around 60 or 65. What I found interesting about writing a pilot is that I had so much information. You just, you just creating all of this stuff. And then you're like, well, no one, no one cares. You, yeah, know you what can't I mean? put like, all that backstory. Yeah, you there. can't. Right. So um, I always overwrite and my scenes are always too long, but it was 93 pages and I just got it down. Um, today's draft is 67. Oh. But my goal is 65 because I have quite a number of uh, voiceover flashback things. So, you know, it could be a little longer because it's double dipping in terms of time. Anyways, the point is I'm wrapping it up. I'm three hole punching. I have references. Oh. oh. This is my reference book of various. That's the lore. Time. Look at that. Uh, it looks history, like you're going to. History yeah. of New York State. That's the that's the stuff where I don't care about. That's where you hire somebody. You're like, is this date right? Go look it up because this is, I had to contact the New York State Thruway Authority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in which they gave me a chronological uh, listing of all of the major things. But it'd be good. It's like you made their day. Yeah. So I, I'm wrapping it up, and I'm basically ready to hand it off to the editor slash the lady uh, to uh, make it in the format that it's supposed to be versus <laughs> then this happens. And then this guy does that. <laughs> he then says, I, he, then he says, I feel forlorn. And they, <laughs> and he says, you feel forlorn. Johnny feels for, this is straight from the script. Johnny, yeah, yeah. You feel forlorn. <laughs> hey, Johnny feels forlorn. <laughs> it's terrible writing. <laughs> that was the day you I learned forlorn. Have, yeah. Oh, but it's actually, it's the opposite of Wall of Flesh. I mean, there's actually a, a couple of the themes there, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to do, uh, trying to do something in which when I look in my father's eyes, he does that, that single tear of, of Irish sadness doesn't <laughs> go down. And that head shake as he looks down, as he looks down upon the loafers. <laughs> you know, it's just like, why did I survive the war, son? Why <laughs> make a movie that I can watch with my mother? I actually, wow. I consider it uh, complete and uh, I'm just wrapping up the uh, formatting and I'm compressing all that fun stuff. Like my actions are too long. He then picks up the glass and then he puts it to his lips. <laughs> the water goes in his mouth. He then swallows. He then stops, <laughs> has another sip. The water goes in his mouth. He drinks it. He puts it down. He goes, ah, <laughs> this is delicious water. It's, uh, it's not good. I yeah, can watch that all that day. is a little lengthy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm actually trying to do the whole point was Daryl. <laughs> yeah, come on, Daryl. One, Daryl the super fan. Get the behind first this. One is just figuring it out, right? The first one's a student film. You, you know, let me yeah. give a guy a break. He makes so the next one uh is is the one where I hopefully will take uh, as serious as so by the way, <laughs> if you're a multimillionaire producer like and you want to get into a project. Listen, it's a mob thing. We'll have drugs, guns, naked women. I'm having hot guys. It's 2021. You got it all. All right? You got it all. You got, the, you got cool cars. You got good music. A lot of uh, 
different characters of different ethnicities at the time period all coming together. Wars. Oh, it's good stuff. I still don't know how anybody could say no. How could anyone say no? I mean, I got to say, if I can't sell, cut back to this in three years when I'm like drinking <laughs> in a literal gutter <laughs> of like Boone's Farm Apple Whiskey. Ah. Oh. But listen, the only downside is that it is a, a period which will cost production a lot more money, right? You set something today, oh. right? So obviously it will cost... I mean, I don't know, two to three times more than a normal shooter, uh, show to produce, maybe, because you got to rent the cars, you got to do all the set dressings, you got to find the old Aunt Jemima bottles, which are now gone forever, right? <laughs> uh, you do have a lot of pancake scenes in there. I, I, I remember I leafing do, through your script. I do, yeah. <laughs> I do. Well, I, of course, you know, have, uh, damn it, bleep, bleep it out to, to mute to Julia Child when I was young. <laughs> She's like, she's, oh, just beat the meat. And I was like, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> None of our episodes are monetized. So, see, no, tangent, uh, uh, tangent wrangler. So the whole point is, uh, forgive the mess because it's actually one of those, it's actually working in the moment. Oh, it's and then I bought mess. this. I treated myself to this, which is the, uh, it's the Yukon. It's from Harbor Freight. I had a coupon. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> but I, oh, actually, you know what? None of your business. You know what? Don't look away. It doesn't matter. You know what? I regret bringing up everything. You know what? <laughs> Wait a second. You know what? I'm getting more and more uncomfortable the, the more I think about it. No, nope. <laughs> virtual backgrounds. Choose virtual background. Vir choose it. Choose it. Uh, no, no, I messed it up. Virtual background. San Francisco. Oh, Here I am. Oh. Oh. oh, beautiful, oh. man. Oh. It's always misty oh, there when, when I'm there. I never get to see the, the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's overrated. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I love this. I guess, right? It's good enough. Where are you? Are you in heaven, Josh? <laughs> yeah, I figured uh, after your procedure last week, you might not have made it. So oh, perfect. I was coming to coming to see I do have wherever this is. I don't know if it's... I'm not sure if this is... It doesn't seem like heaven. I don't know. Yeah, it seems cloudy. Yeah. That's right. Tim, are you, is your green screen of? <laughs> I, I tried of to find it. Background? I tried to find it, but I couldn't find the exact one. So I had to, oh, to go, but that was my intention. Yes. So I do have um, a little follow up about the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say that I'm going back in about uh, two hours from now for my follow up for the stitch removal. Oh, in which oh. I, that's a sure quick I removal. A dry socket. I'm one, there's 1.86% of people get it. And I think I'm one of the lucky ones because <laughs> of my big bleep tooth. So they might have to, whatever they got to do, but it's, uh, uh, I'm looking at, I'm looking at my skull. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Something didn't, uh, oh. <laughs> something didn't do. That's, that's I was going to ask like, what a dry though. socket was, but now yeah, I think a dry I socket is where basically the, the hole isn't healing. Oh, isn't, okay. The blood clot doesn't. It doesn't close. So now I just basically, I can, you know, I got two raviolis stuck <laughs> <laughs> where my, uh, where my tooth once was, which is oh. somewhere. Did yeah, they give you a little there. thing to like blast the stuff out of there with water? Well, you're not supposed to, it's the opposite. You're so you're supposed to not rinse out for the first 24 hours, basically oh, all okay. that gunk in your mouth. Yeah. Did I do that immediately? Not knowing that when I first came home, I'm not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. well, Who's to know? Who's to know? But I got to go back. But I had a little bit of a, of an unpleasant moment last week after the podcast. Oh, really? Uh, Josh, Josh and Tim both know how I can get. So after the, after I walked out <clears> of <throat> the dentist alone. Oh yeah. I came, <laughs> I came home. And we filmed a very popular episode of 11 Views for uh, you and Whoa, T35. That's up six from the week before. Yeah, think about it. So when I leave the dentist, we come oh, here with well, a bright idea to film the podcast. Uh huh. So we filmed the podcast for two hours or whatever. Because, you know, the Nova case supposed to last four hours, <laughs> right? So then when we're done, I immediately get in the car and I drive to a local place that has a pharmacy that we all know that I'm not going to mention. And they were, when I arrived, 
my tooth was starting to be like, oh, the Novocaine seems or whatever wearing off early. Because apparently it's not four hours, it's 30 minutes to four hours. Oh, that's a wide range. So I thought I was, yeah. I thought I had four hours of numb mouth to live a life. <laughs> you wasted it on the podcast. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, this is starting to hurt a little bit because <laughs> I just had a tooth ripped from my jaw 90 minutes ago. So I go to the pharmacy and I don't know what cow horse town I'm in, but it just had gone to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so then I they're like, oh, they'll be back at one. So I just walk around the store for 15 minutes until I make sure that I'm first in line when they open and they're all in them. They're all looking at me. And now I'm the customer <laughs> who's like, clearly just waiting for them to open and that the energy is why are you guys closed right so they of course open late they're in no hurry they're in no rush at all not even they're just it's just like private time (laughs) so they finally open up the thing and everyone's moving just i don't know they just had like a giant hoagie but everyone is just just taking their time and i'm very polite with my mouth and i said uh, i'm here for a prescription and blah 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 they're here to pick it up i said i just got my tooth pulled they're like well this is an emergency prescription so we can fill it in 10 minutes i said oh, thank oh, you so much a booby. yeah but a booby right like basically i'm a, i just came from the doctor i need these things for pain they're like all right and then a whole line is forming for i guess the vaccine over there and everyone's eyeballing me like I'm trying to cut in front of their vet. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. All I know is they're supposed to, supposed to be 10 minutes. Well, I got to tell you, the, it started to throb a little bit and the pain started to come in and I'm just waiting. Wow. And then every customer who goes to a pharmacy apparently loves talking. Everyone, everyone, and they're all making friends and the pharmacy ladies talking to this person and they're all just chuckling and I'm just waiting. Right? So the woman's getting, she's like, I'm getting beer and eye drops for my husband. He's got to have his beer and eye drops. And the God, no. woman's like, oh, what sort of beer are you getting? It's like, damn woman, put the pills in a bottle. Your job is to count out pills, put it in a bottle, give it to me. I give you money, we leave. Transaction complete. Don't make me call a middle school student. Please, just give me my very low prescribed, like extra strength Tylenol. Well, around 40 minutes later, I go, um, my, I am now, the, the pain, the, the Novocaine is, is 95% off, right? My mouth is filling with saliva and blood. I wait so long that my mouth is full of of liquid. And I got no place to go. So I walk over. I take the top off the trash can in the middle of the store. And I just spit what had to be three quarters of a cup of fluid, which I'm sure is on a security camera and will end up on yeah. into it. And just looking around, I put the top back on and walk away. It's definitely on film. So if you see it. I have a mask on, but I take it off. So it was, it was so disgusting, which is what might have happened is like during that thing, you know, oh, I, you, I couldn't clean it properly because oh. I'm just standing there with a mask on and dripping. It's just filling up, right? Oh. So I go up and I'm like, "Hey, blah blah blah,", blah. and and there's like a 12 year old girl who's just like, you know, she ain't winning any awards of being bright. Like she <laughs> should not be there. Like, and I don't mean to be ageist, but if you're 16, let's not be at it. let's not be it there. Let's go work at a roller <laughs> rink. You know what I mean? I want. <laughs> And I looked over at the pharmacist, and the pharmacist is this, I'm going to body shame right now, is this big old fat woman, right? If you can't smoke and drink and beat your children, all right, then you shouldn't be fat either. All right, let's, let's put that on the list of gluttony. Isn't that a sin? Mm. But she was moving just like, like an old Matthew Brady film or something where, you know, da, da, da. And, and I was just like, wow, she's really sloth-like. And she's just counting the pills and blah, 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 blah. So I go up and I say, hey, but they're like, oh, we forgot about you. Oh, <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. No. So, uh, we'll do it right now. So then I go back. Well, another 40 minutes later. Oh, uh, what? I might have punched a shelf full of women's vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> the, now, the fact that they were women's vitamins don't make it a thing. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know? Uh, and I was at that point audibly doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a wall. I'm pacing up and down the aisle because it's gone. Like, and now there's no drugs. I have no pain relief. I have my mouth is like, I made some poor life choices. <laughs> <laughs> so after 90 minutes, I go back. They forgot about me again. What? Oh. And right, they just oh, we've we how they forget about the guy who punched the vitamin. Yeah. Well, that was the second. That was it, right. Oh, that was okay. after the first time they forgot about that. Okay. But at this point, it was I just asked for my prescription back. I just got it back. I just asked for it back. They're like, because then the old pharmacist <laughs> took her big old calves and shuffled her feet to give the line of 40 people now the shot. They then say to me, Well, you have to wait for her to finish that line. Oh. Oh, come on. What kind of operation are they working over there? Now, at this point, I'm just trying to not go falling down. This is why California (laughs) has such stringent uh, gun laws or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Because of the customer service. (laughs) Um, No, just because of Brian. Just because of Brian. You're the a-hole because you're back up there twice. They're like, we forgot. I was like, I got to go. And then they're annoyed with you because you keep coming back and being like, I just, I, I wanted to just spit the, like, not that you would, but you just wanted to be to accidentally, but oh God, you waited so long and there's just like blood all over the place and maybe <laughs> it'll get her going. But she was just, it was just, I want to apologize <laughs> to the vitamin company. You probably will get some returns. <laughs> At the end of the month, <laughs> for some damage uh, goods, but so then I just drove to 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 play just a regular pharmacist. And they're like, "Yeah, here you go." <laughs> and I was out the door. Oh, you know I mean? now you know. So that yeah. was my first and last time with a major corporation. I mean, yeah. you know, I'll tell you guys off there, but it's uh, <laughs> I don't want to start any uh, a brokely uh-huh. pharma pharma wars. <laughs> yeah, brokely. Uh-huh. But it was it was. Uh, <laughs> It was very unpleasant. And you can imagine the rest of the day, it was just, you know, by the time this thing kicked in. You were amped up. <laughs> so now I have to go back for them to tell me that it didn't heal properly. And I'm, I'm curious if they're going to then numb me up, <laughs> cut it again, oh, cut me up again, and then make me go back to the pharmacist, in which I will now go. <laughs> you should go back to the first one. Oh, my God. I think. Yeah. Oh, God. Sure. I can't. I, I just can't stand slow. This is why. This is why people, they have people to do other things like, and it's prescription. So you have to go and kind of set it up. Right. But if it's just like, if, if I spent 90 minutes waiting to pick up something as a dry cleaner, that was already dry. They just couldn't get it together to find it under <laughs> my last name. Right. You know, you're like, I can't get that time back. Right. And I had plans. I had work to do. And then it's two thirty. No, it was almost three o'clock by the time I came home. And you know, my work day is oof. almost over. I don't know if that story was too long. How are you, fellas? But that is uh, the follow up. So, and I'm trying, I'm in a new place. I'm not trying to be that guy, right? I'm trying to be polite, <laughs> but I, I have another mouthful of blood for me. And I, I'm just going to oh. go. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a McDonald's and a Burger King and it's been 90 minutes at the McDonald's, I, 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 I got I just, it's all good. Keep, <laughs> keep the $7.99. I just got to go. Yeah, you want that grilled, like such a grilled hostage, smoked right? flavor. Yeah, I can't right. be like, come on, Fanny, <laughs> yeah. count those pills. I know you wanted to be somebody when you were young, but you know your white coat ain't fooling nobody. That's another thing. You tell your wife, right? These non-doctors should not allow to be white coat. They should have different color coats <laughs> so you can identify how trained they are, right? Oh. So yeah. white, a white coat is like your wife. This is like a real actual doctor, <laughs> right? And then, like, you know, offense to a dentist, but maybe a khaki. Okay, you know? yeah. that's nice, you know. And then you could do. No, the the nurses know. wear the white coats too now. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> I thought they were. I won't allow it in my hospital, but I'm oh, starting. No. <laughs>
So Joshy Poo, what you been up hey. to? I, I know oh, dude. we're empanadas no more. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the empanada lady is so happy now all the time. <laughs> oh, not uh, she's not on edge use. anymore. You know, she's not, well, here's another she's one. not afraid for okay. her life so, whenever she sees reason, me. I don't want to fat shame because I will admit I used to be fat and I'm on my way to be fat again. So I'm one of you. <laughs> right? You know, the trick is really it's your arc. You know, they, yeah, your, they really figured it out like I don't know, two thousand years ago. Walk around. Okay. Make up the leaves. That's it. Once in a while, that's really not that hard. I don't. I don't. Uh, I have that treadmill. The leaves don't taste that good, though. That's well, that's wild. that's why you got to coat them. Think about it. You're like, I got it. This stuff sucks. Let me coat it with blue cheese or something. <laughs> Any food that you, except for wings that you need to put blue cheese on to cover up the taste. Are you guys blue cheese guys or ranch guys? The audience comment below. Oh, okay. Oh. I bet you're neither. neither. Yeah, yeah neither. of course. You're so, oh, you're such that guy. Uh, for like a, a salad, I don't put anything on it. No dressing. Yeah. I've uh, started to do that also. I wow. do like a crouton, though. That's my dressing. I'll throw a crouton in there. So that's, <laughs> a the crouton cheap. In there. that's like, yeah, like, just like I'm an alcoholic, but it's a light beer. Like, you know, you're either <laughs> eating a salad or you're not. Maybe a little Parmesan. Oh, oh, there you Reggiano. go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, either Here's one. I'll take players. both. From the 80s. So now, that's, I think it was third base. <laughs> no, Tim, if you order a restaurant salad, if you go to yeah. a, sal- uh, a restaurant and order a salad, do you tell them not to put any dressing on it? Yeah. Well, I say dressing on the side, and then I'm never going to touch the dressing. And you just don't, yeah. Because Unless... you're embarrassed to say no dressing? <laughs> no, I'm not embarrassed about it. Then why but, don't you skip? I, oh, I'll say, you know, no dressing, but usually they just, even when I say that, they put it on the side. Because I can't fathom. <laughs> I can't admit. Maybe somebody yeah. else will eat your dressing. There's a couple <laughs> dressings I'll eat or whatever. What do you List call them it? in your order of your favorite. Top three dressings. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Some kind of like Asian sesame situation. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> was that a, was that a yeah, man purr? Yeah, was that, that was a you, man purr. Did you just. <laughs> <laughs> and also then uh, yeah, the dressing they put on at the. The shawarma place. Oh, I like can F with that, as the kids say. Yeah. No, 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 not, yeah. not tzatziki. Oh, on the salad dressing. Yeah, on the salad, yeah. Oh. That's just like an Italian, right? Is, don't they put yeah, like, it's got a little little zing to it. Yeah, I, it's Italian dressing. They just put extra lemon in it. <laughs> what about your uh, their, uh, salad dressing there, Willis? This is what people want to know. <laughs> yeah, people people. want to know about salad dressing. Practice. Yeah, well, see, I'm basically the opposite. I like all salad dressing. Any any kind of salad dressing, not too much. I don't put too much salad dressing on it. I like light salad, you know, just a little bit of salad dressing. But uh, yeah, load me. Answer the question. Yeah, all of them, all the salad dressing. You can't. I mean, that's really your answer. Even the gross ones. You love them all equally. You love a bowl of cheese as much as you love a bowl of balsamic vinaigrette. I call. I do actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on the salad. I I do. You know, but hang on. Okay, here's the best salad dressing. Here's the best salad dressing. I'm gonna kill your puppy. Okay. I want to splatter right. that puppy all over a Mad Max. All right. The best salad dressing is actually a mixture of ranch dressing and <laughs> and the sesame stuff that Timothy Green Hall juice? likes. Yeah. No, That's like the, the Asian sesame, like the kind of gooey Asian sesame dressing, and you mix a little bit of uh, of ranch in with it. Mm-mm. It's mind-blowing. No, 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 it's no. The best salad dressing yeah. there is. Tim's a texture yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah I make my own. Guy. You make your own? Send me yeah. some. Well, no, I don't make it. I just mix just two bit kinds of salad dressing together. <laughs> yeah, it's got your face on it. First class. You know. First class. It's a... Josh's own. Yeah, that's right. If I was treating myself, it would be blue cheese. And what I do is I, I dunk a little bit. So I fork it. Oh, oh so you're not spreading it on top. You're like, right. so just, like, I'll just like, like a, a French fry. Yeah, as I yeah. want it. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, and then that's if I'm good. on a diet or something, I'll go with some vinaigrette. You know, but I'm going to say something. Oh, yeah. Might, this is it right here. Might divide us as a team. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. I have discovered something that I think should catch on. Rice cake. Eating oh. salad with a tablespoon. With a spoon. <laughs> you know what? It's weird. I did it the other day with a tablespoon. It was so much easier and enjoyable to eat the salad with a spoon. I have a variation I, I, of that. I uh, 
like eating <laughs> salad with uh, chopsticks. Try it. This guy's yes and and all over the place. Josh, what do you got, man? <laughs> Where's the button, baby? You're the button. <laughs> but that one's real. I, I I can't believe I don't know what's wrong with you people. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use? Just, a fork? What are you just stuck at using a fork? Heathens. No, you know? but I'm what is wrong with it? you? I can't, I, I'm, I'm stunned. I salad with a, a spoon. It was, it was great. I is found it because it's so much efficient. work? Oh, oh, no, it's more efficient. Okay. It's more efficient. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. And here I thought you were a man. No. <laughs> he uses a knife <laughs> to eat a salad. Yeah. I use a curse. I use an old uh, you know, Ken Onion. I use the chive from Cursa. If you're a white guy in your 40s from like Tennessee, that joke definitely hit. Boom. Those are diet chips. Oh, uh, <laughs> he, he, he went back in time, got some Olean. Uh, what was, yeah. What was fun was watching last week's episode where you shot me from walking from behind for like 10 <laughs> seconds. I was like, oh, that's a, <laughs> that's a serious mind F. I was like, oh, that's. There's the buffalo yeah, shot. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt like an old Indian motorcycle. Like, it's just it's such big saddlebags. Hey, <laughs> right. Hey, oh. <laughs> so Josh Willis. Hey, now. Technical question us. It's been too long. Oh, give it. All to right. Us. Well, if you don't have one prepared. Not uh, I do have a technical question. Actually, I uh, I uh, did some uh, some recording of of the of Doctor America over the weekend. Oh, nice! Some really? Videos, yeah. Uh, she was doing some like boudoir music. photos from you. <laughs> yeah, they were. It was like some teaching stuff, and uh, and so I, I I filmed and I was trying to get audio. So Tim Tim Hall, I I filmed it and I didn't have like a lavalier mic I could put on her while she was talking. So I just stuck this out in the room. You know, it's my it's my other microphone. Sure. And uh, the old blue. No. Yeah, the old sure. blue. It worked pretty good. It worked pretty good, but. Um, when I, uh, I I messed up because when I when I was recording, I went to ten, you know. Oh. I, I had to gain all the way up. Ah, it was a spinal you know? in hot. Yeah, yeah. I, know. More I know. I wish it went to eleven. So you know now when I it, it's not the audio is not bad, but you know it's a little kind of like screechy, like you know. <laughs> yeah, <Tim laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my question, my question, Timothy Hall, is: Is there anything I can do to kind of like mellow it out and make it, you know, oh. a little? It's still not bad, you know. Maybe, maybe it's just a too high a level in the recording, but uh, I don't yeah, know. there is. There's I some. Can, I can answer that. Oh, go for you. it. Okay. You pay that man to do it for you. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> but there's That's a software easy. called Isotope RX, and it's a repair software, and it has a module in there for declipping. And it takes oh. it, it. It doesn't do like if it's super distorted, it, it'll still sound distorted. But yeah. if it's like a occasional peak, it yeah, it re. I don't know how it does it. It's like magic, but it takes the clip off. Like a compression, right? What's the uh, yeah, puts the compression? waveform back in? Yeah, it must be. Again, you just have to. Wow. Know. Yeah. So the Isotope RX. Do you have the <laughs> software, sure Tim Hall? I do. <laughs> I Here showed up go. the big bucks. Yeah. Oh, back. See who who answered it off the bat. Right? <laughs> you send him a pay. You send him a. Uh, you send him those shillings you guys trade. And, uh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, Tim Tim Hall is the answer. Um, I'd also like to pause before you add ask me my question is yeah. that we really need to step up production because it's called Poor Life Choices Productions, and then so we kind of just put out whatever, but then. Anybody who's looking to hire us will think this is like the level that we can do. But <laughs> obviously, like good enough for you know, we're not trying to win any awards here, unless you wanted to pay us to do a good job. Right. Guess, well, right. There's an advertisement for the production company that uh, you know, a couple of weird edits or whatnot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, don't don't base it on that hour and fifteen minute cut. Why why did you have it so long, Tim? Why did you leave? There was a lot of strands, and... you know, there's a lot of yeah. lore that tied threads. together. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of threads. Impression. You needed the ISO R module. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if only it, you could just click the render button on it and it'd be oh. like beep, 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 beep. I haven't met yeah. a lot of my new neighbors. <laughs> 
<laughs> They've heard you, no. though. And things, yeah. and things definitely carry. So I was telling the lady that we need to send, like, you know how real estate agents send postcards of, like, just sold? But just, like, an apology card of being like, you're going to hear some things, but yeah. don't call the police. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sorry in advance. Yeah. It doesn't beat recording a voiceover where you're just saying the same thing, but, like, 10 or 15 times. At full you volume. took the money. You took the money. You took the money. <laughs> you know what I mean? The money? Yeah. <laughs> this guy's. Just... Oh. Uh, so. By the way, oh, well, I forgot oh, about the technical question. Oh, yeah. I just want to say I'll tell you one more mistake. <laughs> the lady has been very busy because she's, she's a fancy pants in the biz. So she's been gone. And so I took the dog to get a haircut. And <laughs> they gave me a bunch of options. Oh, no. How short I wanted to trim the hair. <laughs> that was poorly. <laughs> In fact, we're by Richard Hall. I want to put up right now a before and after picture because I took them. So we're, I'll send oh, them. Oh, perfect. Put them up right now. And uh, the lady just looked at you. What did you do to my <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh. It made me laugh because every time I see him, I pull a blanket on him because I feel something he's just shit. Oh man, give him back his fur. Yeah. He took his coat. It's like when I shave a face, I, and I told her, I was like, just give it a week. Like, let it grow in. Like, it's that fresh haircut look. You know, you got to give it. But it was definitely. You could like comb it against the grain, maybe. I was deciding between bit. two and an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch doesn't seem like a lot. 50%. Yeah. But it turns out. <laughs> but, but in terms of like the difference between a dog looking like it's, uh, Came from a, a Dana Farber Institute uh, versus uh, oh, God. not not that Dana Farber. Dana Farber, the uh, UFC wrestler. Oh, okay. Uh, known of course for his triple kick, in which he do a split and then he is moving on. So I, I was actually going to ask you this uh, uh, a little while back because because uh, 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 what was that holiday? Uh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Were, oh. Yeah, not really a holiday. But Valentine's Day, I had a Valentine's Day ruined a couple of years back because, um, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm like a global warming dude, right? I think I've, I think I've mentioned <laughs> well, I this. I guess you're a yeah. study. Yeah, the you know? warming. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I was doing some science. I was sciencing. I was doing some sciencing. And uh, uh, the Dr. America and I were, were supposed to go out for Valentine's Day. And uh, I was doing this sciencing and I, I was, uh, I had published this, uh, this paper where I said the oceans were were like cooling down, and uh, yeah, allegedly they were cooling down, and um, uh, of course a lot of people were skeptical, and um, uh, uh, so about the anyway, I I found out right before we went out for dinner that it was wrong, that uh, I had made a mistake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, uh, and it, it actually it actually wasn't cooling, and this was kind of a problem because I was just about to go give a talk to a bunch of other. Are was you a decimal people. point right situation? Now, is this no. the clip that's going yeah. to bring you down in the future? Yeah. Out of everything <laughs> so, you've ever said on the show, is this yeah. going to be the deal breaker? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and you know when we when we actually put out the paper that said there was cooling, um, Rush Limbaugh talked about it on uh, on his show. And uh, yeah, rest in peace or don't. I don't really care. Uh, Rush okay. Limbaugh. <laughs> You know, he said uh, he had this quote, uh, you know, he saw our paper about ocean cooling and he, he said, basically, he saw it. scientists, they don't know what they're doing. And he said to overturn the world economy based on the musings of a few idiot leftist scientists is just Gosh. stupid. And that's what global warming is actually all about. So, yeah, that's what sure. he said. And so I, had, you know, I had pretty much doubled down on this cooling thing. I thought it was right. And then it turned out it was wrong. So, so Valentine's Rush Day. Rush Limbaugh was right. Yeah. Yeah. Rush Limbaugh was right. Yeah. Valentine's Day was totally ruined. Um, and as a, as a thank you gift for ruining my, ruining our Valentine's Day, my wife got me uh, new business cards and I don't know if you can see it, but right there. Uh, there's <laughs> left a scientist. title. <laughs> yeah. left a scientist right there. Yeah. So, oh. uh, so yeah, I, don't, I guess don't blur out any contact information on that card. <laughs> no problem. It's okay. That's my business card. It's all right. You you can leave it on there. Uh yeah. It has so, your cell phone number on it. Are you sure? <laughs> no, no. That's it's a business work phone. cell phone. Huh? It's my work phone. It's a work okay. phone. Yeah, so go yeah. so everyone call it. Yeah. 
You yeah, wait. Go ahead. You got questions? Yeah. <laughs> All Josh eight of you. All eight of you watching this are welcome to uh, eight. Oh my God. I'd give a testy for eight. You know no. what I mean? So, so Brian, my question is, uh, is it time to get new business cards? You think that he's or, dead? Uh, yeah. Well, that the question itself is, should you get business cards? Because I had mentioned that I was going to order some, production cards and then i got laughed at because they're like who uses business cards anymore and then i felt like an old white man with a leather man you know how it goes right <laughs> so I, apparently and i don't know if it's a if it's like a paper thing because of, of the millennials but i guess business cards are now faux pas but then in other cultures such as japan it's still used and like that Patrick Bateman movie or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, with the relief <laughs> and the oh, yeah. Yeah. American Psycho. Yeah. yeah. Off white. That's shell. not Patrick Bateman. What's his name? Chris Bale. Chris Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah. yeah. Christian yeah. Bale. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, just like headshots, every whatever, every five years, you should get new, you know, new stationery or whatever. But I guess yeah. we should really be making a QR code or something where you just look at each other's Google glasses and. It's, <laughs> Gives you each other's vitals or whatever. <laughs> whatever Illuminati based nonsense is happening. I think people just ask for your Instagram now, right? Do they do that in business? They just say, hey, let, what's your what's your Instagram? That's actually true, which is I probably should really post more than once every couple of months because it really is, yeah. you know, LinkedIn, all that stuff is garbage. It's and the reality is it's who you follow on your social that you care about that you're going to book. Well, I don't know. I guess this is like when Hazy Fox, I asked him about the hat sticker. It's like, I'm so, like, if you have to ask, you're like, you're not cool. You know, yeah, right. You should just know apparently like Supreme, you know, whatever. And the hat sticker was, you were supposed to leave it on, right? I was supposed to leave it on. That's what oh. I'm yeah. I did not know that. Hey, this guy's oh performing God. with Jason Alexander. Like, uh, Dreams don't come true in this town. Look at this. Guy. Oh yeah, he, and Helen yeah, yeah. Hunt. I mean, you, yeah. Listen, you if you're looking for the '90s and climate change, <laughs> tune into tune into these specials. Exactly. This guy's working with all the hits. Oh, oh nice. Oh, who else you got there? Oh, Helen Slater, Supergirl. Oh, oh, oh sweet. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me know when you get Christian Slater. <laughs> <laughs> Superboy. Yeah. Superboy, yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. when I first moved to LA, I saw that movie where he was a skateboard kid. And I was like, oh, Tito's. Like, I, I could start to recognize places in LA. Gleam in the Cube? <laughs> that was a great movie. No, he was on, I just remember he was on a skateboard. It was like before he was, I remember his first ones. Yeah, it was Gleam in the Cube. Is that That's what it's the called? Name of it. Yeah. Well, well, I watched that Tito's movie is in it. a lot. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to watch it. <laughs> no, not, no, not, the, not the vodka. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, Forget it, forget it then. Yeah, it's not worth it anymore. I just posted last week's episode on Facebook because, like, no one knows to watch it. No one cares, but, like, I hate Facebook. I don't like using it at all. It would be cool yeah. if you could share a full-length video. Like, why can't... Oh, yeah. Why can't, why can't you pull, I guess? Why can't you embed? Is it because they're different companies? Like, they don't want you to go to a yeah. YouTube, Google site? Well, you could, do, uh, you could do IGTV, right? And have it on your Instagram, <laughs> right? And then you but can you share full length episodes on the gram. Yeah. Through IGTV. And it comes okay. up on your to, thing. I wish to tell you what the show needs other than talent and diversity and some <laughs> jokes. Yeah. Go on. We need the youth of America. We need, youth. we need, yes. and, and yeah, but not in like a creepy way. But like <laughs> we need to find a bunch of children <laughs> who can come to our property. A word pause. A word pause. I heard it. Yeah. yeah come to our property. <laughs> But you know, like I need a social person, the SEO person. I need like, I need to hire basically. I need to hire somebody to could do the youth stuff, you know, and that can be trustworthy. You can have a various, you know, <laughs> Gmail password or whatever it is, you know. So go ahead and apply below. Send your resume in. Do you do you even use a re That's the new thing. Is I saw somebody else showing a resume. I looked at it. I'm looking in the future. I'm typing up on my old uh, underwood over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on a nice I ivory parchment, and everybody's got like 3D video graphics embedded in the online resume. We're living in the future, man. We're so. Old. Do you understand that my daughter will one day just be like, boop, boop, 
I applied for the job. I didn't get it or whatever. <laughs> like, Wait, are you just, boop, 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 instant. <laughs> and thanks to my parents for sending in the, they don't understand how the government just has ad space. They have money for ad time. You know what I mean? They, they put a couple old people in sweaters and being like, send your DNA. And like, Oh, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give all our information to the government forever. Well, that if my great 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 granddaughter wants to steal a bonnet for her hair, they're going to be like, ah, Minority Report. <laughs> yeah, we we know it's going to happen. You get arrested for it. Yeah, right. They come back in time. Oh, yeah. by the way, the lady told me that it's not cheating. If I go back in time, basically, I said we the whole we had a conversation about Pam Greer. It's like you want to bang Pam Greer, and I was like, well, I want to bang 1973 Pam Greer, well, with, with with great respect, right, right, 2021 Pam Greer. Both <laughs> all women are beautiful, but just if I had to choose between the two, I would go, I would, I would go for that. And she and she said, well, basically, if Pam Greer, as like so, if Pam Greer showed up at like 23, I was like. Let's do this. She's like, that's cheating. You would have to go back in time. If you, so, so if Pam Greer from 1970- She can't come to you. You've got to go. Comes here just to fornicate with me. I'm not allowed. But if I can somehow Elon Musk this thing and go back, <laughs> go back, I can apparently go to town and it's not cheating. Oh, because wow. she's not there. She, she doesn't, doesn't even, even exist, exist yet. yet. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, the logic checks out. Right. Yeah. Josh, Shouldn't this is the science these... you should have gotten into. Other than this <laughs> yeah. nonsense. All right. The only thing ice is good for is keeping trout cold and whiskey. All right. Hey, wh- let's bring up some of these beautiful uh, TikTok bean footage here. Don't burn me. Dance. I'm not going to get closer. Ready? What are you going to do with that? Stick it up your fucking head. Oh, my- no. <laughs> she comes back with the retort. That's pretty good. Welcome to Southie, you know? <laughs> uh, That's who has uh, had a lot of porches in Boston. <laughs> in those, is it the, cause it, oh, over there, according to all the movies I've seen with Ben Affleck, they have all the, the decks in the back. Uh, they're, oh. they're, all, they're all like really tall row houses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's <laughs> out smoking cigarettes. So it's like a courtyard of uh, uh, that. <laughs> of people who actually collect the points for the Marlboro bag, you know, They're like, oh, <laughs> I got it. I remember I had a, I had a guy smoke so much. He's like, dude, they sent me extra bags. You want a Marlboro bag? I was like, oh, yeah, I guess. So I'm just like, I, yeah, I didn't know you're a kid. You're like, oh, I didn't realize I really put out a weird vibe here. I, like, yeah. <laughs> I used to have a Marlboro belt buckle. One of those wow. big ones. That's probably worth money now, right? I lost it. Oh, oh. Some guys out there with one of those giant fishing magnets making a YouTube video more successful than this about your lost belt buckle. Yeah, <laughs> he is. What I what I love is that if I took, let's say, a watch, can I watch? Uh, if I was like the Seiko SKX 007, I put that in the title, we'd have like 200,000 views in like a week, right? Oh, people love that watch, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a great, you know, it's kind of uh, Seiko's flagship piece from the 90s. It's a non uh, uh, hackable hand winding movement. It's a uh, Oh True yeah, mechanical piece, uh, but it's a classic. Worn, of course, in all is lost with Robert Redford, and uh, oh. they have now been discontinued, and the price has has uh, almost tripled on them. Oh, it's crazy! Mineral crystal, twenty twenty oh. Lugworth. <laughs> oh, Unidirectional, no, yeah, unidirectional rotating bezel. You know, you get oh, it. Wow, that's all the directions. Yeah, but the point oh, is that on. like. Sometimes I think like, what if I just made watch review videos? You know what I mean? Like, like I would make, you know, like if, oh, you if would I be... just spent four hours a week being like, this, you know, this one, this watch. Look at it, look at it, look at this band. <laughs> you know, you get you get all this stuff, and then we do something creative, and no one cares. I mean, I don't watch it either. You know what I mean? Yeah. User for you me, you should do some watch reviews, so I can make point zero 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 five cents a week. <laughs> Oh, see, you could have Sal DeLuca do your watch reviews. I think, yeah, be, think about it. That'd be entertaining. Well, I, I actually, I did think about making a character who does a watch review. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Because there is a guy who I wanted to base it off of. I'll just say, this guy named Nick Shabazz. 
you know, <laughs> he sounds like he's a little New York. Actually, could you pull up a Dick Shabazz? Pull up, but the point is, he doesn't show his face, and he just it is just the watch or a knife. And he's just like, eh, it's not great. It's garbage. I wouldn't use it. Yeah. But he is the guy in which I would do a character. It's actually a really cool system. And I'll, I'll show you how it kind of works in brief here just by taking the, the, this off. Right now, you got a, a hole here and a hole here, and uh, here's an idiot and a Batman. <laughs> anyway, this is... um, if I go ahead and I, I, I move this little switch down... What There's a lot of... Yeah, 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 you know. It's, uh, it's a good... Uh, yeah, 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 it's a knife. It's a good... Uh, it's a good... Uh, <laughs> you know, I, 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 is it my favorite knife? No, it's not my favorite knife. Is it a good enough knife? It's a good enough knife. <laughs> ah, he's... A... He he does the people's version, but the point is yeah. that if I if I just did that, and I just show nothing but a gray mat and a watch. <laughs> this guy's got millions of views. Yeah, oh, you should get a different color mat like, just to change the, it up. The reason yeah. that there's self awareness is that this is called poor life choices for a reason. Any other thing is profitable. This is the <laughs> dumbest, yeah, dumbest thing you could possibly do. Because you'd be like, let's talk about the new Ford F one fifty. Hundreds of thousands of views, right? You talk about something creative like uh, going to the dentist and eating pancakes, and you got to beg for a view. Should we incorporate uh, incorporate some review stuff in, into uh, the show? I oh. think so. I yeah, think that's yeah. a great idea. I think next week we're going to do – let's all review a product. Okay. Are we all are we all reviewing the same product? You know what? I'm going to send – I'm like going to send both – I'm going to buy some $4 knives from eBay. <laughs> I'm going to send them to you and then we'll review them on the show next week and talk about them. All right. We all have to come up with a character. Oh boy. Who was review it. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Deal. Man. Fantastic. All right. The grass and turn your ass <laughs> and we'll see to the pin. <laughs> Jeez. I don't... Did you see this one already? No, no. You might've watched know. it a whole bunch. Yeah. Well, don't make it weird. I wasn't like alone in the bathroom watching it. <laughs> and the best Western using the curtain to uh... next one. <laughs> of course, of course. How, at what point do we quit the show? At what point does this just become a financial drain on my child's future? Can I have one of those? No. Why? Because they will go straight to your butt. Harper. <laughs> uh, you know what they say. Moment on the lips, lifetime on the hips. You know what they say, have a baby, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I think that's also what they yeah, say. I remember you know what once... they say. <laughs> Comedy's about the rule of threes. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They they do say that. That should be your button for every third one. They're like, rule yeah. of three. That's it. Rule of three. So your button is the rule of three. Yeah. But don't do it more than three times. Okay. <laughs> oh, so much math. Okay. My two thirds. Thing, the purple boxes you buy. You know, what does it look like? Like a cheese stick and you put it in from rub them? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's not a cheese stick. <laughs> Luckily, it's not a cheese stick. Someone should have that talk before some weird <laughs> sexual thing. Can yeah, I don't know why, way but... Out in puberty. As soon as I get hold of one <laughs> of them there's no ranch sticks. dressing and our son seems so relaxed, you know? <laughs> you, see, you saw LP right there? Mm-hmm. So now, uh, yeah, that LP local pimp, he caught <coughs> for one week. They found all his. He got three pussy hands stuck on his door. Three pussy hands on his door. Okay. <laughs> Little fun story about your local pimp. Yeah. <laughs> three yeah, of them, little, huh? A little medical procedure done. He didn't, he didn't get to finish saying they were from different people. But, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no fucking bitch, but she did raise a mentally ill whore. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. And a bad lip syncer. Yeah. yeah. But it's, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, I once dated a goth. I'll tell you that story. And I ran into her, and she was still a goth. She's huh? in her 40s. Still gothing it up. Yeah, I'll tell I'll tell that story one time. Um, you never seen somebody who made eleven grand a year walk away with such pride. <laughs> I'll tell that story. Oh, okay. we'll, uh, we'll get it. <clears throat> we'll get to it. Can you give us a hand? She's mate. <laughs> Man, Australians have all the fun. Yeah, yeah. 
hanging out with exotic animals, being yeah, friends. Yeah. Marsupials, that box. <laughs> How cool is that? What the what? The what? <laughs> what am I looking at? What, what was that? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Somebody pressed the really record know. button. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they was leading up to the, maybe there's a part two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, not how you open. Just, just, just so you know, if you ever have an opportunity to open the spray paint, don't don't use a shovel. Don't These videos, shovel. I gotta tell you, because I need. You know what? You know what? Really. I need someone to be finding the videos that are good for me. I haven't had a lot of like time to really find the best of the best. And, and I, I'm, uh, I'm not satisfied necessarily with the content in which I am bringing. Oh, okay. Because I'm not dedicating enough time to find, you know, I feel like they've kind of gone off a little bit. Like I'm off the, my, my algorithm needs to be reset or something, but I have too many women Probably because I, I watched them for too long. I have too many women and not enough, uh, you know, content. Dudes. Oh, oh, okay. So check out that SNK007. Now, that's the black face. If you like a blue face, you want the SKX009. Mm. Okay. That's the 42 millimeter. You want, you now, if you want the, the smaller one, those are the SKX013 for the black ones. Okay. Case. That's going to have a smaller, uh, both the same movement. Just a uh, different case size, mm. depending on your wrist size, lug width. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> the dog is not having it. Yeah. No. I like well, that I was, dog. I was, over at a, I was over at a, at a sports authority or whatever it was and it's where basically a bunch of men who look like me of all races you know and i'm like mr thin you know and like big and like you know guys who wear the belt over the gut you know what i mean that's the guy on the belly button well and it's all guys and it's all like it is probably the most masculine thing i do in my life is when i go into one of these stores and it's just all men being like hey you know this is the uh but we have it well, this guy's girlfriend was was waiting in the car, and it's a very slow process because they they sell firearms and permits and stuff. So it's like it takes forever for each customer to be like a dick. But it takes forever, right? Well, this guy's girlfriend had enough and just laid on the horn, and the cars are lined up in front of the window where everyone is, right? So there's twelve guys. And holds it, and everyone's just, and then everyone, like a movie, just stops and just turns to this woman. This guy's just like, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it, I felt so bad for that guy because this is like, because he was like probably 20, and everybody's in there 40 to 60, and just being like, yeah, we used to be like you. <laughs> How, how long did it take him to own up to it? You know, was there well, a he moment ran, where he, he was ran. like, he went a running. <laughs> yeah. And then he came back in and then um, everyone was not shy to make comments. Like the guy was just like, uh, should we continue or is she going to keep beeping the horn? And like, it's <laughs> <laughs> actually a combination of Squally's two best. And 350 pounds. Okay. If I were to put these on somebody who was not a size 44 band, they would be like a J. They're 750 cc silicones. They're almost the biggest implant. Oh, implants. Okay. Yeah. It's like he's a J. He's see, he's 350 pounds. Wow. I gotta tell you. Oh, that that's man, a, uh, that person. That's a man. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, oh, I don't okay. know what they identify as. Could, yeah. so okay, they, of course. I'll just they them, right? That's the they they. Yeah. Right? They. they uh could uh show back me with just the look of but that person <laughs> could beat me up just by looking at me for too long. Like I would be. Yeah. You would, you would, you know what I mean? Submit. Like, I don't think transpho <laughs> transphobia happens too much 
if a 350 pound guy who's six eight, like I don't, I don't think you're throwing the same <laughs> words around. No, definitely not. You know what I mean? If if those are a J, a J, think about how he should be holding like a can of beer, like Andre the Giant when you right, see. Right? Yeah, it. yeah. Because I, I mean? didn't. Like, yeah. We need, we need it to scale. A context. Yeah. You know what? Let's tag him. Tell him we need to or her them. them. Uh, I'm okay. trying. <laughs> they, they them. He's probably like, my name's Doug. What are you talking about? <laughs> Clearly a man. I just got big old J's. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's oh, yeah. a lot of scratch-offs. Yeah. This is America. Now. Wow. Wow. Now, you could have taken that money, put it into account. All right? Let's Go get on. a low-yield account. Basically, well, why not make money with the money? This is what I don't get. Like, why... You just got but, free money. Now go make money on that free money they gave you. Because you need money to make money. And they just gave you the money. But now you just spent it. You just back. gave all the money back to the state. Yeah. You just gave right. it back to them for a chance to possibly win more, in which probably not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> but these are the people you're like, hey, Doug won the lottery. Hey, how's he doing now? He killed his wife and he's in jail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, his children uh, would not go to his trial. And uh <laughs> Have changed their last names, but they're doing all right. Yeah, yeah. They, they, oh yeah, they're too, please. They inherited all that murder money. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, well, the energy seems a little low. So, <sighs> this is another episode of Unnecessary Talk with Brian Sturgis. I have that Brian Sturgis. You can follow me, Mr. Brian Sturgis. You can follow him, Jimmy the Gay. Oh, you're really micro machining this thing. Nice. <laughs> hold, hold on, ready? Episode concluded. So <laughs> Was stupid, but in a good way. <laughs>